Hello, I'm Mr. Bohork, and today we're going to be looking at the slope of four types of lines. So the first line, I'm going to describe these, would be rising upwards, and this is from left to right. So you're moving along the line starting from the left, and then going kind of upwards towards the right. Okay, so let me draw a quick picture of what that looks like. Here's a little Cartesian coordinate plane, and the line would look something similar to this. So here is a line. You can notice as you move along the left, upwards to the right, it kind of goes upwards. Kind of like think of it as like uh, if you draw stairs on top of it. Think of it as you're walking up the stairs. So another type of line, we'll describe it as kind of going down, also from left to right, like the way you would read in English. So it's kind of going down from left to right. It's sort of the exact opposite of the first type of line. So here's a little Cartesian coordinate plane again. And we'll draw a line going down. Notice as you travel from left to right, the line kind of slants downwards. We're also going to talk about horizontal lines, which of course go left to right like this, and vertical lines, which go up and down like this. So let's take a look at some of these examples below. So in our first example, we're asked to graph the two points, negative 1, 1, and 4, 3. So on our graph, we'll plot that point, negative 1, 1, and we'll go up and we'll plot the point 4, 3, which can be shown by those two red points right there. Connecting the points to make a line, which is very difficult on the, this tablet. Okay, so I'll do the best here, my green line. I'm going to make sure I draw my arrows, because remember, these lines go on forever. So I'm going to draw my arrows, and now I want to find the slope of this line. Okay, so if you look closely, the slope is the rise over the run, so I need to figure out between the two points how much does it rise and how much does it run? So starting at this point, you can see that it goes up 2, so there's a rise of 2, and there's a run of 5. You can count over 5 to the right. So our slope would be 2 over 5, or 2 fifths. In our second example, we're asked to graph the points negative 2 and 1 and 3 and 4. Now I just wrote that 1 right there to indicate that this looks like the first type of line that we discussed from before. So there's our two points for the second example, negative 2, 1 and 3, 4. Drawing my line between them. And again, it's kind of hard to draw a line, so sorry about it. It's not perfect. But again, counting the rise and run between those two red points, it looks like I'm rising 3 this time, and I have to run over to the right 5. So over to the right 5. So that means our slope is 3 fifths. And again, if you look at kind of the shape of the line, it looks like it's kind of rising upwards. So, and that refers to the first one that we talked about, how it's kind of moving upwards from left to right. Now let's look at example 3 where we're graphing the points negative 1, 5, and the points 2, 2. So here's negative 1, 5, and then 2, 2. Drawing a line between them. Let's make it green. There we go. Line between them. And again, I want to count the rise and run of the slope. So between this point here, it looks like I'm running to the right 3. And then I went down 3. So my run was positive 3. Right is a positive direction. And I rose negative 3 because I went downwards. That's a negative direction. The negative 3 over 3 is simplifies to negative 1. So my slope is negative 1 for this line. And you'll notice that this one is different. It looks more like the second type of line that I talked about. And this one, you notice, that has a negative slope. It has a negative slope. So actually, the first type of line that we talked about are slopes that are positive. Because you'll notice in the first two examples, we ended up with positive slopes. And in the second type of line, we end up with a negative slope. These are indicating negative slopes. So when you see lines that look like the first example and the second example, those are positive slopes. And any line that goes down from left to right is a negative slope. Now let's look at horizontal and vertical. So we're going to be looking at example 7 right here. Okay, this example asks us to graph the points 4 and 4, so right there, and 0, 4, okay, right next to it, right there. And you can see when you connect the points in this one that it'll make a nice, pretty horizontal line. So I'm drawing my arrows, and here is my line between the two points. Now in this one, it looks like to find the slope, okay, I can definitely I can definitely do the run between the two points. I can see the space between them is 4. So it looks like the run is 4, 
and you can write 4, negative 4 actually in this one, but I'm going to go with 4. And I don't need to rise any at all to get between the two points. Okay, I don't need to go up or down. So I go up or down 0, and that simplifies to a slope of 0. Now all horizontal lines will have a slope of 0, because for all horizontal lines, I won't need to do any rise. And 0 divided by anything is 0. Now let's look at this uh, number 8. We have the points 4, 2, which is just graphed, and I have the point 4, negative 6, which is down below it. Obviously, this is going to make a vertical line. So drawing my arrows and my line, it's a nice, pretty vertical line. Now finding the slope between the two points here, again, I can find the rise. Okay, it's 8 or negative 8, depending on how you look at it. It doesn't actually matter in this example, but I'm going to go with just an 8, as it's 8 spaces between the two points on the rise. And the run, I don't need to go left or right at all, so it's 0. But when I have the rise over run, I cannot divide by 0. Okay, that actually gives me infinites, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to have divided by 0. So what we actually would call this is that there is no slope for a vertical line, or you can call it undefined. So for vertical lines, it's no slope or undefined. Remember, horizontal lines, slope is 0. All right, and that was the four types of slope.